What it do, YouTube family? It's your boy Robin. Today I am back. I am back with another episode of Robin and Mike, where I sit here and I talk hoops to those I listen. It's that simple. That's all I do. And I hope you watch. Hope you leave a like and subscribe from it. Leave an opinion, their takes or whatever off the video. When yeah, but today you already know I had to talk about the game. I haven't done this in a while, but this game got to me the most because I felt like I really watched this game and I really, you know, I really watched it. And I got three points to make, but before I get into those points, you already know what I gotta do. How have you been? Talk to me, I'm listening. Oh wait, that's the wrong game. I'm listening. Talk to me, I hope all has been good with you and yours. I've been okay, you know, living my best life. Trying to build something great, like always. But let's get into it, you know what I mean? I have three points, like I said. One. What should I start with? Yeah, uh, three points. First point, I would like to congratulate the Clippers on their first time getting out the second round in 50 years, they said. What? Congratulations to them. And shout out to that whole, this whole Clippers team organization. Like what they did today was great. Like I want to give shout out to Paul George, Terrence May, Reggie Jackson, Pat Bev. Pat Bev, I'm getting credit to Pat, Patrick Beverly. I'm giving credit to Patrick Beverly. Reggie Jackson. But yeah, shout out to them, man. They did it today. They did it. They hit their shots. They were down by like 24, 26 going into the half. 76 to 50. And then Ty Lu, the man, the myth, the legend, Ty Lu. I think he, I think what he did would go underappreciated to a lot of fans. I only look at the stats and stuff, but the, the adjustment he made going into half, cooking, I don't want to say cooking, but exposing Rudy Gobert was phenomenal. Uh, he just put, I said this on Twitter. I say a lot of stuff on Twitter. Y'all got to follow me. Uh, he just put Rudy Gobert in an uncomfortable situation for himself. He had him moving, always moving. And when there would be a drive by, whether it's Paul George, Reggie Jackson, they would kick it to that corner that the, he was on, or they would kick it to the person on the wing or close to the top of the key right there. And they would just kick, kick, open three, because Rudy Gobert is not going to contest it. He's going to act like it, fake it. And then next, that was Terrence Main. 39 points, 40 points, Terrence, 40 points. You ain't never done that in your life. And today you dropped 39, 40 points, bro. Congrats to you, man. I'm just watching, I'm like, Terrence Main ain't never shot like this in his life. Patrick Beverly ain't never shot like this in his life. But they did. Reggie Jackson would even get in him some. When he went to Rudy Gobert on that drive, <clears throat> just lay up, I was like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's over. And then with Pat Bev, who did he make that three on? I think he made that three on, was it on Rudy Gobert? It was on Rudy Gobert or Bogdan Bajdanovic. I was like, game is over. It's over. It's wraps right there. Cause Pat, Pat really ain't never hooped like that. So I'm like, yeah, that's game. <sighs> what was my second point? Um. Dang, I forgot my second point. Okay, I got it. I said this again on Twitter. I'm I'm disappointed that the Jazz lost because I still think they should have won this series, especially when Kawhi went out, but I'm not surprised. Right, what I mean by I'm not surprised is this is the same team that blew a 3-1 lead to the Nuggets. And it comes down to the same thing. I think we're not throwing enough like social media, NBA, Twitter, all that stuff. They're not put enough focus on Quinn Snyder. And tonight was Quinn Snyder. I don't know if Rudy Gobert has some type of like uh, info on Quinn or whatever, but there was no reason he should have stayed in the game. I was genuinely surprised that they did not go Mike Conley, Donovan Mitchell, Royce, Joe Ingles, and Bogdan Bogdanovich. I would have been fine with that team. Why? Because that gives Donovan Mitchell the ability to drive and kick if he has to. 
You can't do that with Rudy Gobert right there. So you clocking up the paint when y'all need threes. That didn't make any sense. Yes, Rudy Gobert was rebounding over people in some situations to get offensive rebounds. And like, yeah, that's cool. But you're losing still and you're not getting any momentum. So what are you doing? That's going, that, I don't feel like enough people were talking about that. And I noticed that. Why? Because I'm the best in the game and that's fact. Uh, I did say I had three points though, but I don't remember my third point. <laughs> oh, hot. It's hot, y'all. What was my third point? Maybe we'll tell you to subscribe to the channel. Like always, trying to put something great over here. And we cannot do that without y'all help. But let me remember my third point real quick. Hold on. Oh. So. Okay. Yep. There we go. So, we got the Suns versus the Clippers on Sunday. Seven game series. Who do I have? I truly don't know. Both teams are without one of their best players. Sounds without Chris Paul. More than likely, 14 days haven't passed since his COVID protocol thing. And Kawhi Leonard, ACL injury. Me personally, I'm not risking that for a game one, nor a game two. Because I don't want the same thing to happen to him. That happened to KD, that happened to Kawhi, so I'm not going to play him. But I don't know who's going to win. If I were to pick, I'm going with the Suns because of rest. But then I could also say I'm going with the Clippers because of momentum. So it's a really balanced thing. It's going to come down to role players like always. And, you know, what do I see different in the Jazz than the Suns, right? Like, what's the difference between my eyes and myself? And it's like, it's not different Booker and Donovan. Those are both two great players. Mike Conley, CP3. CP3, of course, better than my comparing here, but like, you know, and the secondary ball handler. Um, DeAndre Aiden. DeAndre Aiden and, what's his name? Rudy Gobert. That's the same. So what is it? I don't know. It's the role players. It gotta be the role players. The bench. <sighs> not even the bench, I can say, because the bench. Alfred Payne gonna come in, Cam Johnson, but they had, you know, this is a really good series it's gonna be. It may be a star game, it may be a star series. I'm excited to watch the game one. It's definitely gonna be a star series. Who wins it, I don't know. I gotta give y'all a guess though. Oh, I'm going to go with the Suns. I'm gonna go with the Suns. Because I like their chances of getting Chris Paul back in time of further for the first round than I do Kawhi. I honestly think the way they made the injury sound, he could be out for the rest of the season. Rest of the playoffs. Because like the moment I hear ACL, Achilles, I'm like, sit him. It's over. Same thing AD. Like, just sit him. It's over. Don't play him. It sucks. It's unfortunate. Injuries happen. It, it sucks. But i rather... Oh, nah. I can't do that. No, Kawhi, he's he not going to do that to himself. More than likely. So, yeah. I'm going to go with the Suns. Devin Booker's rested. He's going to put the team on his back while CP3 is out. Call me crazy. 36 first game. <laughs> 36 on... 36 on 30% from three. And 45% from the field. No, 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 not even 45. Yeah, 45% from the field. 42. 42 to 45% from the field. Devin Buck at 36. He's going to go crazy game one. Home game. We already know how they play at home. They don't, they lose their mind. And, yeah, I think I hit all three points. Clippers, Jazz, and the next series. Uh, I'll probably do the Bucks, Nets, the video on the Bucks and Nets, and tomorrow and then I do Hawks and 76ers Sunday oh we got potentially hold on because we only got one video out so far this month because a podcast hope we got two in. oh we got this video that's two three four pay me four videos and then I got other stuff in the work that y'all don't it's still I hope you guys enjoyed the I forgot what my own show is called. Uh talk your shit. It's 
I got that coming. I got two episodes of that in the works. Yeah, that's four videos. Hold on. You guys got to subscribe. If you haven't seen this, subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Uh, I think I got everything done in about 11 minutes. Do I want to drag it on? No, I think I hit every part. Actually, this is going to be some part of the most of the Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let me, let me, in. if you, if you reach this end of the video, let me in on, let me, let me let you in on something. Our view count is low, right? We don't generate the amount of viewers that I wish we would be generating right now. But I know if I keep working, if me keep going, keep sharing these places that we all get somewhere, you know, hopefully sooner than later and i'm just gonna keep working every day till i get there and i hope you guys that subscribe watch the videos and not subscribe like you come on the journey with us it's gonna be a fun one and yeah once i get once we get to 50 subscribers because we stuck at 44 i think we have 40, 44 45 i forgot but we stuck right there once we get to 50 got a surprise video hopefully i want to do for thank you and yeah, now I, wish I, I think I got every point. And since if you got to this point and you're not subscribed, I don't want to say anything negative, but I, I, I was going to flick it all, but I'm like, peace, peace.